I wanted to share a few thoughts with you from my devotion time today from the book of Philippians chapter 1 verse 20 <clears throat> Paul writes according to my earnest expectation and my hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed but that with all boldness as always so now also Christ shall be magnified in my body whether it be by life or by death. So Paul is talking about in life or in death, either way, it will magnify Christ, make Christ even greater, even more real to somebody, even more close or more near to somebody else. The more I thought about that verse, the more I think that sometimes we are prone to think more in the extremes. And so I'll be fine if all of this blows over or I'll be fine if it gets completely worse. But my question, my thoughts today go more towards the middle ground. So perhaps not a martyr's death, perhaps it's life. How in life can we magnify, can we make Christ greater? <clears throat> How can we glorify Christ living today? If God is not to deliver us in death to something greater right now, how can right now we glorify him in our lives? My earnest expectation and hope with all boldness Christ will be magnified. In other words, my best for his glory. My best for his glory. I think about in life, especially in times of crises in my own life, I get to a point where uh, I either start to debate with God or I'll try to reason uh, before I can make a decision either way. And I think neither one of those is accurate. I think it comes down more to will. Not having more will, a stronger will to be able to choose the right decision, but rather completely the opposite, to surrender your will, to surrender our will to God so that he can be greater. Uh, what makes me think that? If I interpret scripture with scripture, if I use a different Bible verse to look at this one as a lens, John 3.30. John 3.30 says, He must increase, but I must decrease. And so, in a crisis, if I start to debate God, if I start to try to reason my way through it, uh, really... It comes down to will, and my will has to lessen so that God's will can take over. And I know that firsthand in my own life. Many different times I've hit that uh, crossroads, if you will, and had to just surrender. Uh, and boy, the outcome is so much greater than I could ever imagine. Every time, God is greater and I am lesser. So I'll leave you with a few questions today. How in life, if your death is not to be today, uh, and I pray it's not, I pray you're here many more days longer, how can in life you make Christ greater? How can you magnify Christ so that he is glorified? Perhaps in your life it might mean uh, less personal time, less TV time and more devotion. Or being in the Word. That takes surrendering our will. I want to watch more TV for me. So I have to give up. I have to surrender that time in order to glorify Him. Uh, perhaps it's Sunday afternoons off to myself, to whatever, in order to serve somebody else. 
uh, I'll leave it up to you, but I'd be curious. How can you lessen so that he can be greater? How can you decrease so that he increases? Heavenly Father, we cannot choose on our own of our sinful nature your good and perfect will. Only through the power of your Holy Spirit, through the nourishment of your life-giving word, can you enable us to magnify you and glorify you in a way that you deserve. Make it so in us this day, I pray. Amen.